All right, welcome back to CSI. Had she mentioned any kind of health problems or filed any sort of complaint against your company? No, I nothing like that. Back up. Why? She had mesothelioma, a type of cancer caused by asbestos. Oh, that's horrible, but what does it have to do with my company? Yeah. I don't know anything about any asbestos. Does it? You don't know anything about... Does, does this mean that it's... Sorry, but I really don't understand what you mean by that. You know, instincts have their place, but it's not here. We need evidence before we accuse people. But... Is this a joke at my expense? Tell me I'm lying, and then show me... What are you doing? Oh, just because that pops up, it doesn't mean... I told you, I don't know anything about asbestos or where she might have run into it. I want to go ahead and, and assume that that means. Think back. Did she ever seem unusually angry or depressed? Well, we weren't exactly close, but I got the feeling she was in a troubled relationship. Little things here and there, really. Such as? One Friday, I asked her if she had any fun plans for the weekend. Not really, she said. Just hanging out with the boyfriend. She said it like it was a, a root canal or something. It wasn't just that. I think he hit her. Why do you think that he hit her? Well, Portia always seemed to like showing off her body. I even had to ask her once to wear more than just her bikini to work. <laughs> but one week, a while back, I can't remember exactly when, she wore long sleeve shirts every day and she seemed depressed. When I asked her about it, she gave me some lame excuse about needing to do laundry. But when she thought I wasn't looking, I saw her rub her arm and wince. Well, Portia was a very private person. I know almost nothing about her boyfriend, except what I was able to infer. Was the spa making money? Sure. I mean, it can always get better, right? But it was profitable. Is there anyone you can think of who might have had a reason to start the fire at the spa? No. I mean, who blows up a spa? She's not in the phone book. I looked. Oh, yes, I know where she lived. Let me write it down for you. Never got the chance to visit her. Here you go. So, I hate to ask, but is that everything you need from me right now? I have to come up with something to tell the board about why I let the insurance or not. And I can't really focus on that while I'm here. I think we have what we need for now. You'll be at the barber shop if we need you? I may have some errands to run, but I will be there for some time today, for sure. Okay. So, I guess just because you can call him out doesn't mean you have to. Crime lab, drop the weapon now. Hey, driver's license says Brian Reed. You mind telling us why you were in Portia Weissman's apartment, Mr. Reed? Yeah, bitch. It's my girlfriend's apartment. Well, oh. ex girlfriend as a as a yesterday. You're the Do you break into shit. all your ex girlfriend's apartments? What? No, I didn't break in. I have a key. 
Come on, the door was bashed open and you were standing there with a sledgehammer. The door was busted in when I got there. So I grabbed the tool just in case the guy who broke in was still hanging around. Hey, just call Portia. She's angry with me, but she'll back me up. Well... Fire? Oh, God. Is she okay? Unfortunately, Miss Weissman never made it out of the mud bath. The mu You mean she... It, it can't be! Mr. Reed, we're sorry for your loss. If you A care. fire. So were you tying up loose ends after you torched the spa? What? That's crazy! The only loose ends I was tying up were my toothbrush and an extra pair of underwear. And now you tell me she's gone and, and you're acting like I had something to do with it? Mr. Reed, Brian, we have no evidence implicating you right now. And we know it must be a shock to hear about Portia. We need your help to figure out what happened to her. I hope you can understand why we want to know the reason you were standing there with that thing. Sure, yeah, I can see like how it looks. But well, really, it's just like I told you. I stopped by to pick up my stuff, yeah, including the, the hammer, and the door was broken open. I grabbed the, the, the tool for protection on the way inside. It was just inside the door. I wasn't there for more than a minute before you two showed up. You mentioned that as of yesterday, mm -hmm. you and Portia were no longer together. Was this a mutual decision? Or did Portia break up with you? No, I broke it off with her. She, her, her drug problem was getting in the way. Weed. She knew I couldn't. She knew I had a problem with it, but she kept putting it in my face. But maybe if, maybe if, maybe she'd still be alive. If you just oh, did God. it. <laughs> did you hit her? Hit her? No, absolutely not. I would never hurt her. Oh. Come on, Brian, I get it. She got a little out of line, right? So you had to shake a little sense into her. It wasn't like that. She just, you know, liked it a little rough sometimes. Look, it's not really my kind of thing, but she made it worth my while. Cancer patients are sometimes prescribed medicinal marijuana to help them cope with the side effects of treatment. Cancer? Well, that may have started a habit, but her cancer's been in remission for years. The autopsy found mesothelioma in the lining of her heart. She didn't have long. But she never told... I, I didn't know. She never told me. Can anyone verify your location between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m.? I don't think so, no. I was at home hanging out with my buddy Jack for most of the night. But by then, Jack was gone, and I was pretty much passed out on my couch. Can your buddy Jack confirm your story? Well, I try not to ask the bottle too many questions. People look at me funny. What do you do for a living, Brian? A uh, living? I, uh, I'm kind of between jobs right now. I'm looking for something in construction, but I'm not having a lot of luck. I do have a couple of leads, so, so ask me in a week, maybe. We might have some more questions for you soon. Would you mind waiting? I might as well. You probably won't get much out of me once I have a chance to start drinking. Jim, could you do a background check on Brian Reed? Wow. I called it in on the way over. I'll let you know what turns up. Let's head back to Portia Weissman's apartment. Maybe there's some evidence there that can link the break-in to the fire. I like how she does all the talking, and yet I get called out when I present bad evidence. Like, motherfucker. Uh, the collection... I want to say collection. We need to find a shoe that matches this impression. It's made out of some kind of dirt. We should get a sample. A dirt sample. Uh, that is another kind of collection. If we can link the shoe impression to someone, then this dirt might tell us where he's been. I'm going to use the cast. Some of the marks here are thin and straight, but some are circular, just like the holes in the drywall at the spa.
This isn't just a hammer. It looks like something off a fire truck. Hey, I read a background on Brian Reed. Turns out that up until last week, he was a captain with the Las Vegas Fire Department. His battalion chief told me Reed had a mixed service record, multiple commendations for bravery, but the guy was also on probation for insubordination. Well, when Reed failed a random drug test last week for the use of cannabis, they fired him. This reminds me. The notorious serial arsonist John Leonard Orr was both a fire captain and an arson investigator. Good for you. You know your history. You know, I want to go check something. Materials. I want to check this fucking thing. matches the bigger holes. This tool, or one very similar to it, was used to ventilate the drywall at the spa. Uh, that... But, why isn't it not checked off? Wouldn't that make it... Oh. Launch the cast two different holes. Firefighter... Firefighter's Denver tool. Taken from Brian. Brian. Still, let's fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ. made up of feldspar, clinopyroxene, and acetone. The minerals are found in volcanic ash, which is what they used to make the mud for the baths. And acetone was the accelerant used at the spa. Wait, do I need DNA? friend. Where would I go to... So I need to actually get physical. Oh. I have mail. Let's 
feeling in the break room didn't burn the way the one over the blood bath did. I guess I could. Brian Reed's Denver tool is a match to the markings on Portia Weissman's door. He used it to get in. Okay, now that's marked off, but why aren't these marked off? This is bullshit. Mr. Reed, or should I call you Captain Reed? Not anymore. I'm no longer with the Las Vegas Fire Department. It's a firefighting tool, isn't it? It's called a Denver tool. Firefighters use it for getting into and out of places. Places like apartments? Only if they're on fire. Can I call them out? We think you used your Denver tool to break Porsche's door in. I told you, I got a key! Uh -huh. Look, take it if you need it! Oh, bitch, I got you, motherfucker! You see those marks? They line up perfectly with your Denver tool. Mine or anybody else's. Even if it was a Denver tool, no firefighter did that. If I really wanted to bring that door down, I'd pry the hinges off. The last thing I'd do is hack at it like a maniac. I bet you've seen a lot of buildings burn, and I bet you know a lot of ways to light them up. You know something, buddy? You are way to hell out of line. I devoted my life to jumping into the flames and saving people, and I lost friends in those buildings I've seen burn. So for you to sit there and insinuate that I may be an arsonist is the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. And Porsche? You think I said Porsche on fire? I mean, I don't know what kind of animals you people have to deal with, but that's not me! Being a firefighter was obviously very important to you. So it must have hurt to lose that. Yeah, well, they were just looking for an excuse. I was actually trying to keep my head down. You were on probation. It was a tenement fire in the alphabets. Battalion chief thought the place was coming down. Ordered me not to go back in. You'd think I might earn a little slack for telling the boss to piss off, but let me save a room full of kids. And again, if I'd stopped at piss off, maybe I would've. Wasn't Portia the one with the drug problem? Yeah, it was her problem, and she's the reason I got fired. Portia made pot brownies. Now, she says she didn't dose me intentionally, but she did leave the damn things right where I would find them, and she didn't tell me what they were. I ate three of them. I could barely get out of bed for like a day and a half. I don't know how she... I don't know how anyone can stand that stuff. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, Happy Monday! Go pee in a cup! I dumped her because she got me fired from a job I loved. The fire was set by someone with the knowledge to burn that building to the ground. I don't care what you say. I would never start a fire. Drywall at the spa was ventilated with a Denver tool. Well, it wasn't my Denver tool. Anybody can buy one on the internet. Even my... G even Portia had one. Why did Portia have a Denver tool? She took mine. She wanted it for protection. Said it creeped her out to be alone in that place all day. By that place? Do you mean the spa? Yeah, she had hers at the spa. You know something? You're right. There are a lot of other Denver tools floating around out there. But in this case, I really only think there's one I need to worry about. And it belongs to you. You followed Portia to the spa. And when she was nice and relaxed in her mud bath, you torched the place. Because she made you then lose you went back job. to her apartment to get your things, and a few of her things too. And then you tried to disappear. I bet you figured, hey, if it looks like a break-in, that no one will suspect the boyfriend who's already got a key to the place. And that might have worked for you, too. 
but you forgot to light a fire under yourself. You were still standing right there when we rolled up. Captain, I respect the police. I really do. I know what it's like to go out there every day and put it all on the line. And I know you're just doing your job. But if you can look me straight in the eye and really hear what I'm saying to you, and yet still believe that I could do this to Pasha, then I feel very, very sorry for you because you're not qualified to carry that badge. Now, are you really going to arrest me or what? No, we're not going to arrest you, Brian. But we'd appreciate if you could hold tight here for a while. All right, I will. For now. And like I said, I'm happy to answer your questions, but no more finger pointing or I'm done. We understand. Thank you. You said that Portia spent hours alone at the spa. How often did she do that? Just about every day. You know, there were times I started to believe that place might be some sort of front. A front? Yeah, you know, for money laundering. Pasha was convinced, and she was keeping her own records. She told me that place wasn't making a dime. Did anyone else know Portia was keeping financial records? I think she might have mentioned it to a boss, which seemed like the wrong guy to talk to about it, but she trusted him. At least she did. But after she talked to him, she got all paranoid, ended up hiding all the papers in the broiler drawer. I thought she was just high. Hey, you guys looking at him for this? Thanks for sticking around. No problem. I'll be waiting. Storing something in the broiler pan. Guess it's a little late to warn Portia about the fire hazard. Guess she died in the fire. I can use Dates that as a amounts. document analysis. It looks like a record of the spa's finances. is open and the hard drive is missing. Oh, I'll stick another hard drive from NCIS. No the wrong game. Oh.
Have we looked everywhere? Tested everything? Asked e We must be missing something. You are the one that told me to get the fuck back here. Bitch. Helping or anything. Fucking stand there. Why did you tell me to come here, you fucking idiot? Hi. Uh, sorry, I was shaving. Cut myself. What can I do for you? Portia Weissman owned a firefighting tool. She kept it at the spa for security. Have you seen it? No. She had some kind of weapon at the spa? Well, that's totally against company policy. There it is. Found a weapon, though. A tool. We'll be back. Uh, Looking forward to it. Good catch. That should contain a workable sample of his DNA. like he's still not here. I 
I tried, you fuck. And how the fuck do I get that, huh? How the fuck? doubt it was a coincidence that Portia Weissman's apartment was ransacked the same night the spa blew up. We should see what we can find there. I hate this bitch. She's not helping at all. You collected from the... Yeah, you know, it'd be fucking nice if I could, but I, the game won't let me. Oh, what the fuck? You fucking scum. Fucker. Like my fucking taint. Pete Baja's DNA ready for processing. Lick my whole ass. We looked everywhere. We must be missing something. Then what fucking good are you? We must be missing something. I'm just not sure what it could be. Then how the fuck do you know we're missing something?
what proof did what? When the fuck did he? And how do we know that he did? What? Game? Are you making shit up? Based on what evidence? No judge will sign off on that. What do you get in the way of evidence? Show me something I can work with. Hey. I'll meet you down there. The oh, fuck? This game is fucking lying to me. pulled out at the root. Portia was a blonde, and Brian Reed has red hair. Someone else was here. Baja was in Portia Weissman's apartment, even though he told us he'd never been so there. So the game gave me a hint sooner than it should have. the arson case. Is your decorated fireman still the prime suspect? I'm not so sure now. He's got an answer for everything. And what I thought was the best evidence we had against him, his firefighting tool, well, it doesn't actually provide us with anything conclusive. On top of that, the spa's owner, Pete Baja, lied to us about never visiting the victim's apartment. All right. Well, talk to Brass. See if he can help you take a closer look at this, Mr. Baja. All right. You're down here already. I was just going to call you. This is Special Agent Gene Huntby of the FBI. 
It seems your case may be crossing into his jurisdiction. Fuck this guy. Agent Huntby, why don't I let you explain the situation to them? Thank you, Captain Brass. It's my understanding your prime suspect in the arson fire at the Super Law Spa is Pedro Baja. Is my information correct? We're looking at him for the arson and a homicide. A young woman by the name of Portia Weissman died in the fire. Is that right? Well, let me explain why I'm here. Are you familiar with La Reina de la Colmena? Unfortunately, as a member of law enforcement, you should be. In Spanish, it means the queen of the hive, and it's the alias for a woman named Beatriz Salazar, now the most dangerous drug lord in Mexico. We believe Pedro Baja was in her employ. Okay. So is this the part where you tell us to back off Mr. Baja and let you do your job? No, Ms. Seidel, not at all. I want you to get your man. I want you to get him so bad he'll have no choice but to cut a deal. You see, in the entire universe of La Reina de la Colmena's drug trafficking operation, Baja's just a satellite, a small-time money launderer through those little shops of his. But for some reason, we have him on wiretaps in direct communication with Salazar. Okay. The taps themselves are useless because Baja and Salazar communicate in code, referring to things like family, weather, whatever. But why she's talking to him directly instead of through an intermediary, I have no idea. But it's that direct connection that means if we can bring down Baja, then we have our best shot yet at taking down the Queen of the Hive herself. Agent Huntby has requested the opportunity to keep tabs on us for a while and run this one as a joint jurisdiction. You do your thing, I'll do mine. What evidence do you have? I was there when Baja said he'd never been in Portia Weissman's apartment. His DNA in that apartment will get you your warrant. Mr. Baja, Las Vegas police, open up. Looks like he's not here. Guess we'll have to execute the warrant without him. Score one for the lockpick gun. Always cleaner than breaking out the battery ram. It looks like an empty financial or legal portfolio with the spa's logo on it. Those records we found in the Vic's oven are just the kind you'd keep in a binder like this. Vegan blueberry muffins. They look almost edible mm. and flammable. A hard drive. Look at that. The hard disk isn't screwed in. It might just be new, but the VIX PC was missing a hard drive. We can figure it out back at the lab. Forms claim that Superla Spa was highly profitable. Lion Yeah. What's this? Trend Micro Internet Security Pro has detected a virus. Repair. Looks like someone's been practicing unsafe surfing. Okay, let's see what Pete has on this hard drive. Cat pictures, puzzle games, and Portia Weissman's monthly household budget. 
Looks like we found the drive that was missing from the computer in the loft. lot about a person from the kind of shoes they wear. You can tell a lot more if you forensically examine their shoes. That looks just like the tool we got from Reed. Shit. These shears are made for cutting pipes, and we have a severed gas line to account for. Wait, what? I wonder why they need so much acetone. The place is a little too masculine for manicures. Just pick that up. That won't get you what you want. What am I trying to? I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? Well, bitch, what am I supposed to do? What makes do? you think there would be latent fluids there? Looks like 
like some kind Fuck of dried you. mud. Is it not the first fucking thing I tried? And she's like, boo, I'm a fucking idiot. It's a vegan blueberry muffin, just like it said on the package. Factor out the carbon, and the muffin that helped ignite the fire is identical to the ones we found in Baja's office. Almost pure acetone. No fragrances, no dye. Very few impurities at all. Hmm. More volcanic minerals and acetone. That's everything. Fuck you, bitch. Really? So this is just... I mean, it should be... Pretty fucking similar. How do I... Each side of the tool matches one of the distinct shapes ventilating the spa's drywall. Brian Reed's Denver tool is just as likely to have been used to help spread the fire as the tool we recovered from the barber shop. The tool from the barber shop could have been used to break into Porsche's apartment.
Um, why can't I? Look at how the imperfections on the blade match up to the markings on the gas line. Yeah. These shears were used to cut that gas line. I think we're going to pull any prints off of that. What am I looking at? I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. We can't just pick that up. We can't just pick that up. What am I fucking looking at? It's not going to work. That won't get you what you want. 
I'm not even sure what the fuck I'm looking at. Just where someone would hold a shoe when putting it on. Sure, bitch. Sure. Okay. That's no fucking dumb. All right, I'll back to fingerprints. Based on the placement of Baja's fingerprint, those have got to be his shoes. The shoes tie Pete Baja to the spot just prior to the explosion. I think we may have enough to nail Baja for starting the fire. His shoes put him in the spa sometime after the acetone was dumped. He'd picked up quantities of both the accelerant and the spa mud. The hair placed Baja in Porsche's apartment, but the footprint puts him there sometime after visiting the spa. Nice. Based on what evidence? All right, the shoes put Pete Baha at the spa at some point prior to the explosion, but after it had been dust and acetone, I'll send a patrol car to pick him up. I'll call you when he gets here. this mission or whatever the fuck not everything I need from here why is it still Full print. Good clarity on the sample, too.
Baja's prints are on the toolbox in his office, which is not exactly a surprise, but it does suggest that the contents are his. I think we're going to pull any prints off of that. I would expect that to be Pete Baja's fingerprint, since we found the ledger in his office. Let's find out, shall we? Guess we're gonna go back to this room. It wasn't Baja's fingerprint, but why would he have a ledger with Porsche's prints on it? Everything has got check marks except for this dumb shit.
So I'm just waiting for what now until the guy gets arrested? How long is that going to take? Is it waiting for me to check mark all of these off? Gonna talk about that. Um, game. This clearly. I'm smarter than the, than the game. Not... who handled this tool. How about this obvious mark right here? Portia Weissman used this tool. It might be the one Brian Reed told us she was keeping at the spa. Portia kept her Denver tool at the spa, right where Pete Baja could have easily taken it. Okay, I think I have a pretty clear picture of what happened. Just Baja now? was laundering money. And when Portia confronted him about it, he panicked. Then he decided to rig the spa to explode. Portia probably showed up after Pete was gone. Doc Robbins said she had marijuana in her system, so she might not have noticed the acetone. While she was there burning to death, Baja was at her apartment looking for the record she was keeping. Hey, I need you to come to my office right away. There's someone here to see you. Good, you're all here. What's going on, Captain Brass? What's so sensitive you couldn't discuss it over the phone? We have a visitor, Miss Beatriz Salazar. You serious? She's here? The queen of the hive herself just walked in and asked to talk to the CSIs in charge of the Pedro Baja case. Do you mind if I sit in on this one, Captain Brass? Be my guest, you can even take my seat. I'll hang back and watch from the viewing room. Hello, Miss Salazar. My name is Special Agent. Gene Huntby. I know who you are. But these two, I am unfamiliar with. 
I shall presume you are the ones persecuting my poor, clumsy pedrocito. We're not persecuting anyone. The evidence speaks for itself, ma'am. Usually when someone wants to talk to us in this room, they want to confess. So, is there something you'd like to get off your chest, Miss Salazar? You think you're very clever, don't you? Perhaps I know you better than I thought, but I'm here for Pedro. He is family. Family, huh? You know, I might actually be moved by that if you weren't still the primary suspect in the execution murder of your first husband. My husband's murderer remains at large, Agent Huntby. Pedro is from Ayapa, my village in Mexico. He graduated from the school I built for them and prayed in the church I gave them. Pedro's family, all three of his sisters, they live in the house I provide. So as you can see, I have a significant investment in the future and well-being of this young man. I'm gonna actually end this part here. I know we're probably near the end of the case, but I'm already going over an hour on this thing, so we're gonna stop. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one for the epic conclusion. But we all know who did it. Bye-bye.